Welcome back to the Quite Frankly Show. Okay, so I want to discuss today black women, black men, the black race, and how we uh, display ourselves. Okay, let's get into this. So, um, <laughs> what I've come to, you know, realize is that us as black people, we love to tear down each other. Okay, we love to tear down each other. And we love to put ourselves in the category of unstable, unethical, un you know of uh, in the in the in the category of being ghetto and ratchet and all of that. We love to put each other in that in that category and those stereotypes. Um okay. So first off, what really um let me, let me say this. I've seen this over the years, how this type of stuff happens, but just recently, within these last couple of weeks, um, just within this week, um, certain people that are on TV now and in the way this fight with Monique and Candace has taken place, um, I'm starting to see a whole new wave and mindset um, within the black community. Um, Lord, my shirt don't want to act right, I see. But it's like so many people are saying, are blaming Monique for basically y'all are saying that Monique is the cause for why black people are the way they are today. And that's not okay. That's not cool. You know? Yes, we as black people, we are trying to hold ourselves above the stereotype. But just because Monique attacks somebody on national television, that doesn't take away from the fact that you all fight every day but we don't see it on camera. You all cuss each other out every day. You all dog each other out every day, but yet we don't see it on camera. For some people, we see it on camera. We see it on national television. And nobody says anything about that. But the moment Monique decides to go and attack someone on national television because she felt threatened, she felt attacked, you know, it's an issue, it's a problem. It's an issue, it's a problem. And I can't allow people to put Monique in a category when every day you all sit up and watch Love and Hip Hop. When every day you all sit up, watch Love and Hip Hop, watch these other reality TV shows, and they fight and do this, and y'all don't say nothing about them. Y'all don't say that they brought down, y'all don't say they bringing black people down. But yet, when Monique does it, on a show that is supposed to be, as y'all love to say, sophisticated and poised, and they're from Potomac, so they shouldn't be fighting like this, because she did it on this specific show, it makes it bad. It makes it worse. And that's not cool. That's not right at all. Because again, we can't ostracize Monique. We can't put her to the side. We can't tell her, we can't put it out there that she needs to be fired. She needs to be canceled. 
when over the years we've had plenty of fights on the Real Housewives franchise. Just in the Real Housewives franchise, we have we've had many a fights. We've had fights that have occurred in so many other cities in the franchise. Uh, when Portia dragged Kenya across the stage, uh, y'all didn't say nothing. I mean, some of y'all had an issue, but majority of everybody didn't. Y'all was all for it. Y'all was y'all was all for it. Y'all was all for it. Y'all didn't say Portia needs to be canceled. Y'all didn't say Portia. Some some said Portia needs to be fired, but majority of everybody they said Portia doesn't need to be fired. And yet here we are years later, and everybody loves Portia, but when it comes to Monique. And because she's on this show uh, that, that's called The Real Housewives of Potomac, of Potomac. And this show has a history of, you know, they fight with their words. They don't, you know, fight with their hands. Now it's an issue. I, don't, I, I see so many double standards here. If we look at over the years of just black people, we attack you, we attack each other, yet we don't say nothing. Some say some things and some voice their opinions, but it has never been from from what I've seen, it has never been to this extent. And so some people are saying, well, you, well, you're just making this video based off of, uh, of this whole Monique situation and Candace stuff. Actually, yes, I am because it's sad because of the comments that I'm hearing. I'm hearing a whole lot of commentary from people and it's like, really? Monique was the one that brought down black people. Monique is the one that you know, they, they put us below the stereotype, put us back into the stereotype. That's crazy. That's crazy. This is not a this is not a race thing. We we, we can't we cannot make this one fight a race thing. And y'all didn't even make this the fight between Portia and Kenya a race thing. Every time we turn on our television and go to go to YouTube and we see episodes with black women fighting with their words, we don't say nothing. And them words are just as are just as bad as physically hitting somebody. But no, we, we don't say nothing when they fight with their words. We don't we don't say nothing when they fight with their words. But yet we say something when somebody actually puts their hands on somebody. But then again, y'all don't say nothing because so many years, Love and Hip Hop has showcased women, black women fighting each other. And yet y'all tune into that every single day. Yet y'all tune, in tune into that every single time it pops up on your television. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. Y'all don't say nothing when white women fight on TV, pull each other's hair, throw jinx and everything. Y'all don't say nothing when white women fight on TV. But when it comes to black people and they have a moment where they act out, oh, it's a problem. Because Monique fights on TV, puts her hands on somebody and what? We are, we're five seasons in, and for the first four seasons, Monique has really never actually put her hands on somebody on this television, on, on this show. Yet, yet, yes, 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 she got close with Robin, but she didn't actually fight her. 
Some of y'all have been saying, well, she wasn't like this with Robin and and and, 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 and Robin from Baltimore. Just because somebody is from a certain city, that don't mean they can fight. Just because you from Chicago don't mean you can fight. Just because you from Detroit don't mean you can fight. Just because you from Bankhead don't mean you can fight. Just because you from Newark, New Jersey don't mean you can fight. Just because you from Baltimore don't mean you can fight. Just because you from Compton don't mean you can fight. So I'll, I'll, let's let's stop that right there. Um, when it comes to her getting up in Robin's face like that, that was at a different time. In certain situations, you have to know when to react and when not to react. And in that situation, it re honestly, it really wasn't it really wasn't caused for a fight. Even in this situation, with the recent fight, with the actual fight, it, it, that, that that really wasn't caused for. But in that situation with Robin and Monique. When they got this close, like when they got close like that, it really wasn't the moment for a fight. Honestly, if it was the moment, they would have, they would have, they would have been throwing hands. But it wasn't, it, it wasn't a need. There was no need for a fight in that moment. Yes, yes, you know, she got up in her face. Yes, she got up in Monique's face, Monique got up in her face, but it was no need for a fight. It was no need for a fight. It, it wasn't. It, it was no need for a fight. It was no need for a fight. Let's look at and Robin got up and um, Robin and Giselle was coming at um, was coming at uh, Ashley. Uh, I mean, come on now, come on now, come on now, come on. Let's be real. Robin was like this, all up in, all up, all, all up in Ashley's face, and Ashley could have reacted. Would y'all would have said the same thing about Ashley the way y'all doing Monique right now? Hmm. Okay. Okay. At the reunion, Robin literally said, "If them cameras wasn't there, she would have beat her up." Would have put it in a headlock. <laughs> so what you're trying to say is, you don't do it on camera, but because somebody did it on camera, it's an issue. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It's it's so many double standards, and a lot of people are not gonna agree with me. But guess what? I don't care. Because what I'm saying right now is the literal truth. It's so many double standards when it comes to your faves. I am a Monique fan. I love Monique. But at the same time, I'm able to call her out and say, okay, in this moment, she was wrong. A fight didn't need to happen in this moment. A fight did not need to happen. It did not. But I will not allow people to sit up here and make it as though Monique is the cause for why black people cannot be above the stereotype. I will not allow people to try to cancel Monique when you have not tried to cancel your favorites on love and hip hop. When you have not tried to cancel your favorite Portia and all of them that have actually fought on camera. I will not allow y'all to do that. Y'all haven't tried to cancel them. Y'all have not tried to get them off the show. So therefore, I, I'm not, I'm, I can't allow y'all to sit up here and do this to Monique. Just because she's on a show that's called Potomac, Real Housewives of Potomac, and, and the city of Potomac is a bunch of prestigious, bougie people, I will not allow y'all to do that. And, and to say this to some of the housewives on the show, there's only two people on that show that live in Potomac. There's only two people on that show that actually live in Potomac. So for the ones that's trying to say that she don't need to be on the show, for the ones that's now are trying to say that she doesn't need to be around, that's kind of crazy considering that Monique actually lives in Potomac and Karen is now living back in Potomac. 
That's crazy. Excuse me. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Black people, we have to stop. We have to stop. We have to stop putting each other down because we had a moment where we reacted irrationally. Monique acted in a way that was embarrassing and ridiculous. She had her reasons and she's entitled to her reasons. She's entitled to the way that she reacted and how she reacted. She's entitled to why she reacted that way. But it was wrong. It was wrong at the end of the day. It was wrong. And can we stop putting the blame all on Monique? Because Monique wasn't the whole cause for what led up to the fight. She wasn't the cause to what led up. She wasn't the whole cause to what led up to the fight. Yes, from what we've seen, Monique was just coming at Candace, coming at Candace, coming at Candace, coming at Candace. But guess what? We don't see everything. We don't know everything that goes on behind the scenes. We can only assume. We don't know everything that is said, how everything that is acted behind the scenes. We only see what is. So we can't put all the blame on Monique. We can't. We can't put all the blame for the dilution of their friendship. All on Monique, because Candace had a part in it too. Candace, in a way, contributed to that fight. Because when you're fighting, when 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 you're in a, when you're in an intense moment, you gotta know. Don't put your hands in somebody's personal space. Don't put your hands in somebody's face. People are gonna say, "Well, Monique didn't put her hands in her face." Well, from what I've seen, she did. From the angle, let me say that from the angle, she put her hands in her face. Now, some people are going to say, Monique, Monique put her hand in her face too. No, 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 no. Monique put her hand close to Candace's face when she started grabbing her hair, when she started flicking her hair. But before Monique did all of that, Mo Monique did one of these. But Candace was all the way in the back, like this, twirling around. Monique, Candace, she was all turning around, flipping around, everything like that. Excuse me. So, oh, let me pause right here. Dr. Pepper is really good, okay? I'm tired of y'all talking about Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is really good. Anyways, but, um... <laughs> As a, but so, Monique, you know, Candace, she was all flipping around. So she was, and yes, and so yes, Monique was doing all of that. But then when Candace got close, from what I seen, I may have missed it. Don't beat me up because I missed it. I may have missed it. But from what I seen, Candace got like this and was leaning in, and she did this. And from the angle that I seen, it was, it, it appeared and it showed that. He had a hand in the face, and Monique said, don't put your hand in my face, don't put your hand in my face. And then that's when she said, you're going to drag me, you're going to drag me. And then Monique started flicking the hair, said, do you want me to? Do you want me to? Do you want me to? Drag, drag me. And then that's how it went from there. Okay? So, just from even saying that, they both contributed to that, to that fight in that moment. They did. You don't have to believe, you don't have to believe me. You know, you don't have to agree with me, but they both contributed to that fight in that moment. In that moment. So, that's just... <laughs> that's just... That's just that. That's just that. So, to black women and black men... We, at the same time, have to know what our triggers are. We have to know 
how to respond in situations. Because in this situation with the Candace and Monique, both could have walked away. We're not just going to put it on Monique to saying that she should have just walked away. No, both should have walked away. Because it should have never escalated to a fight. We as black people, we have to know how to respond to certain situations. Okay? We have, we have to know. We have to know. We have to know. And then people in general... We have to know <laughs> that it, that putting your hands in somebody's face is it, going to trigger something. It, it's going to trigger something. Saying certain words to somebody is going to trigger something. Not making it an excuse, not making it, oh, this is why this person should act this way. But no, you have to know that, okay, certain things I, I should not say. Certain things I should not touch on. I should not do all of this. I should not walk up on somebody in an intense moment. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. But again, we as black people, we have to know how to react in certain situations. I've learned how to react in certain situations. I've learned how to not respond to certain people. People make comments about me all the time. I'm able to just brush it off and keep on going. There's even people that got up in my face, but I know, guess what? I know how to control myself. Not saying that Monique doesn't know how to control herself. I ain't saying that. Not saying that other people don't know how to control themselves. But just for me, I know how to, okay. Okay. I, 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 I'm not going to I'm not gonna allow myself to punch you in the mouth because you doing all this and you getting all up in my face. But honestly, that's just being human. For somebody to respond in a certain way. That's just being human. It just is. That's just being human. It is. So. <laughs> let's work on ourselves as black people. So certain stuff like this doesn't happen. We have to learn how to work on ourselves. Know what, I, know what our triggers are. Know what our triggers are. Know what we should and should not do. Say and say and what not to say. You know. Because prime example, we could react. Black people get we could react in a certain way, and they say, you know, we cancel. <laughs> we could fight on TV. Honestly, and that's probably the only time we'd have never fought on TV or fought in our life. But that's the first time we ever punched somebody, stabbed somebody, did something like that on TV. And yet, guess what? It's just taking, you know, so. <laughs> Come on. We, 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 we have to do better um, by not judging somebody when they react like that, even if it's not on TV, whether it's TV or not. We have to, we, we as a black people have to stop judging. And trying to cancel somebody because they reacted a certain way. We have to stop that. And then we have to stop reacting in certain ways. Because again, we have to hold ourselves up to a certain standard. We have to hold ourselves up to a certain level. We have to we have to learn how to maintain self-control. Now I ain't saying, I ain't saying, you know. Somebody slap you and you don't do nothing back. Oh no, I ain't saying that because somebody, you know, listen. I I I, I ain't listen. I ain't all the way. I I ain't that saved. I, I I ain't that all the way in God yet to just let somebody hit me and I and I don't and I don't punch them in their mouth. I'm just I just I'm just not all the way there. <laughs> Personally, I'm just not all the way there. And so I'm not saying somebody just slap you in the face and you know you just walk away. You you must have got a whole lot of God in you. To just walk away and somebody slap you or somebody punch you or something like that. But if they ain't put their hands on you and they just doing that, they just doing all that, whatever. Just just learn how to just learn how to just say, mm -hmm. like just think to yourself, I know they put their hands in my face, but just I'm just just let them do it. As long as they, they don't touch me, I, I ain't gotta do nothing. <laughs> they don't touch me, I ain't gotta do nothing. No, we gotta learn how to maintain self-control. 
got to learn how to maintain self-control. So, <laughs> but I thank you all for subscribing and uh, supporting this channel. Keep supporting, keep subscribing. On the road to 500,000 subscribers, $10,000 giveaway when that day comes. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. Also, be respectful. That's, that's, I want to encourage everybody to be respectful in the comments. Let's be respectful in the comments. Um, you know, again, I can, I can handle, I can handle criticism. I deal with it all my life. I still deal with it. I can handle, you know, certain, I can, I can handle comments, you know, because everybody's not going to agree. But it's a difference between disagreeing and disagreeing, but being disrespectful at the same time. So, plain and simple. All right. I love y'all. I love y'all. I hope y'all love me too. Even if you don't love me, I still love you. I still love you so much. But anyways, God bless you. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. On the road to Bible. And this is good. I don't know what y'all talking about, but this is good.